Have you ever wondered how it might be to capture all your memories on paper? Having a book that shows days of your life, your experiences, places you've been to, people you've seen, food you enjoyed, with your own creative note to it. Hey everyone! In this video I want to talk about sketching outside, aka urban sketching and share a few tips. For me, urban sketching is all about going outside, taking my sketchbook every time with me, searching for beautiful spots and transferring a scene in front of me onto paper with my own creative style. Before going outside, I make sure to take the right art supplies with me. The right preparation is important to ensure a great outdoor sketching or painting experience. First of all, I need a sketchbook. Since I have to carry it around, I want it to be relatively small. I have to think about what I'm going to draw, which medium I want to use. If I would want to draw beautiful landscapes, I would choose acrylic paint or watercolor, but since I'm more into drawing people and architecture, I'll pack my Faber-Castell, fine liners, brush pens and some markers. One thing I really enjoy while searching for a nice drawing spot is how thoughtful you can get when you're constantly looking around for something interesting to draw. There are so many beautiful objects, people, little sceneries, and we're missing out on so many details when we're not looking for them. I also watch out for benches or nice sitting areas so I have enough place to spread my art supplies out. Plus, they're often placed near great sites or in nice parks. Before I start, I like taking photos of the object I'm about to draw, just in case I have trouble finishing it at that place, so I have a reference picture later on. But don't just photograph random people that don't want to be photographed, just in case. <laughs> the first problem I encounter is how to start on this wide, untouched page without ruining it. The key is to simplify everything you see into the basic shapes and fill it with details later on. The first one would be to focus on the main silhouette of the scenery and start directly with a permanent pen or fineliner. I'm not only way quicker if I don't sketch everything with a pencil beforehand, but I'm also placing every line more conscious because I don't have the option of just erasing some mistakes. And if I make some mistakes, I just go over them with another line. Which turns out as a style by itself, it just gives the image a bit of its charm. The second technique is great when you're working with watercolors or markers. I basically fill the page with random shapes with the colors I see. This way I don't feel like the page is too empty and I can start to line it as a second step. I like placing some shading strokes here and there, but all in all I'm trying not to get lost in the details too much. I always try to remember the layout of the sketchbook, like the placement of the different drawings. Sometimes I add more text to fill empty spaces up, I basically try to guide the viewer's eye around the page. If something should be more in focus, I add more color or shading to it. If the weather turns bad, I like finishing my pieces in cafes, where I can watch people outside or draw the food and drinks I get there. Sometimes I even put some speech bubbles in there or make little comics out of it, it all depends on the mood I'm in. It bothered me at first that all my sketches were much more messy than I'm used to, but it's totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not about the finished sketch, it's more about the process of making it. It's all about observing and enjoying the process of creating. In the end of the day, when I see a sketch of mine, I'm not like, Ugh, I totally messed this line up, why is this so ugly? I'm more like, oh, oh hey, I remember that day, we went to a park, or something like that. But every sketch has a unique meaning for me and that is why I always carry a tiny sketchbook around. Who knows when my next sketching session starts and you might try this too. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, bye!